Hey guys, it's me, that game here, back with another episode. Today, I'm gonna be playing the uh, Lego Incredibles announcement trailer for you guys, and then at the end, I'm gonna be telling you guys some news I've heard and some cool stuff that's going on. Okay, hope you enjoy. Now guys, I'm personally very excited for this game because I've watched Incredibles 1 when I was little. It was awesome. I saw it in my spaceship, you know. It was super cool. And now that they're adding, making also another one and a game that's going to have both, it's going to be awesome. Now let's talk about the hub world. The hub world is claimed to have places. Well, as you go along in the story, you unlock more of the hub world. There's districts. And then you unlock another part as you go along in the story. There's gonna be Syndrome's Island, the first city when it was the be when the movie began, and then a whole bunch of other places. And it's cool because it's gonna have a whole bunch of places from number one, then a whole bunch of places from number two, and you unlock them through you go as you go through in, in the story. <clears throat> and another thing is is that the characters evolve. As you go in, like, violence powers, un you unlock more as you go through the story, but in free mode, you can access all of them. And I think that that's awesome. That's really cool. And they're going to do a whole bunch of cool stuff to the random crime. It's going to be really cool. And Jack-Jack is going to evolve through the story as well. It's just going to be so cool. And there's a day and night cycle. I'm so happy that there's a day and night cycle. Like... That's awesome. I really wanted them to do one and that they did it. It's just really cool. At first, I was like, how are they going to pull this off? There's like not as many characters as they would have in a normal Lego game, right? As I'm talking, I'm going to replay this. So it's not really talking. <clears throat> but honestly, I think that it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be fun. And now that I see what they are adding with everything, I think it's going to be really cool. And at first, I was like, this is going to be impossible for them to pull off. Because normal LEGO games have over 200 characters, 300. This might not have as many, but it does have a whole bunch of other stuff in store. And I hope the customization is super cool because I love The Incredibles. And like I said, I watched it when I was little. Just a little alien, you know. And to make my own character and feel like I'm in that world, it's going to be awesome. I don't expect anything less from Lego Marvel Superiors 2. I hope they go a little up. I wouldn't mind if they don't, though. Because they we had the same Lego customization through a whole bunch of years. And I personally like the one that we have now. And if they were to upgrade it a little or just keep it the same would be totally fine with me. Now, as more news comes out, as I hear more news, I will keep you guys updated for all things Lego Incredibles. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like a boss. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, yay, 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 yay.